everyone, and welcome to a new series I am doing, and it is, of course, Cities Skylines. Now, obviously a lot of people have done their own, you know, gameplay on this, but I was like, fuck it, I want to do some too. Uh, I've actually had this game for a while, and played it quite a bit when I first got it, and I haven't played it in a while. But you know what? I was like, it would be fun to do a little playthrough, or a little city building, I don't know. So anyway, we're gonna jump right into this, and we're gonna have a good time, but since I'm not a complete noob, at least I hope I'm not, I mean, I shouldn't be, played the game before, after all. I actually have a lot of mods installed, and this map itself is called Powhatan something, Powhatan Valley or River, can't really remember. Um, so yeah, that's that. I want to change the name of the city, but I don't know what yet, so if you have any suggestions for naming the city, feel free to, uh... Feel free to uh, give your own opinion, and I have the wrong mode on, and that really sucks. Alright. Still wish there was an undo button, but you know what you're gonna do. So we're gonna do freeform road. This is how I like to roll. And I, I have no real plan right now. <laughs> and normally going into this, I have some sort of plan, but as it strands, I do not. So I think we want to start out small at the very least. And, uh, let's just get kind of like a circular, a little circular giant. Okay, if you live in a cove, in like suburbans, this is a giant cove, and it's going to be great. So, let's have residential kind of over here. I try to, uh, you know, use the space as best I can, which is generally the best idea. I've had great success with it in the past, so I, I like to think I know what I'm doing, but you know. So yeah, a little bit of road building. We're gonna get some Chrissy Crosses here. Cr Chrissy Crosses, God. Why did I say that? <laughs> regret! Regret! Nothing too fancy right now. I don't I don't have any, like, massive plan. This is kind of just like a Ween It series. And, uh, I kind of like the idea of that. Yeah, you go there, and you go there. And we'll get one more right here. How am I doing on money? I got 42,000. Still pretty good. Could probably maximize this space a little more. But, uh, you know, I do have one-way roads, and I thought I didn't, and that <laughs> really pisses me off. <laughs> Alright, it's fine, it's fine, I got this. I got this, we're gonna upgrade these. Yeah, uh, now that I've placed roads, I have more roads, that, that was the issue. Great, 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 great. So, let's actually make our lives easier. Wait, which way is this going? Ew. No, is that right? Are we are we good here? Are we good? I think we're good. So basically what I want to do is upgrade these outer roads. Hopefully I didn't screw it up. How much is this going to cost me? A lot of money, but screw it. I want to do it. No. Damn it, there's no undo button. And I can't upgrade that road now because of that. Dude. It's times like these. I'm sad to be alive. <laughs> no, but... That, that is unfortunate. No. Oh, I'm still on upgrade. Damn it. Damn it all to hell! There we go. Yeah, okay. Let's go back to upgrade. Let's get these ridiculous sized roads. There we go. Okay. Let's just be careful around the intersections. So we don't do that! God damn it! Uh, I know I said I wasn't hopeless, but now I wonder myself. So basically what this will hopefully do is make it a little less traffic-y in the future. Um, when it's going to get a little more busy. Uh, to start out with, though, it's probably a little bit of overkill, but whatever. I like to be prepared. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's start building. We're going to need this money. So, first off, we're going to want some power... Now, there is, like, Zippo wind, and usually I like to go for some wind. I can get some there, but I don't know if I want to. Hmm. I'll tell you what we are going to do, though. We're going to have an industrial zone somewhere. <laughs> By somewhere, I mean over this way. Yeah, let's just kind of stick it over here. 
just kind of like a weird knob. <laughs> let's uh, let's make it a weird shape that I've never done before. Yeah, woo! Weird shapes are fun. I don't know what this looks like, but it's something. Okay, so now we're ready to probably put down some zones. Gonna start with some industrial zone. Grab the big thing, and we're just gonna make this all industrial. Yay, industrial. We got to do industrial. Actually, I am paused still, so nobody should come into town. I want to check what kind of resources are here, because if there is, by some chance, good resources, then I can change the type of industry. I cannot click on that yet, I guess. That's unfortunate. I guess I haven't unlocked it. So I guess we'll just... Yeah, I don't, I don't even think... I don't even have zoning. Yeah, you have to have a population of 850. Okay. It's been a while since I played. Alrighty, so we're gonna have our... Our low density commercial around here. In this area. This is gonna be the shopping area. This is where all the... All the rich white people in the... In the suburbs come to shop. And, uh, you know. Alrighty. <coughs> Let's do this. I'm just kidding. We don't discriminate against other races. It was supposed to be a joke. So, if you didn't like it as a joke, then I'm sorry. Alrighty. Let's get this and this. We're gonna paint all this commercial. We're gonna have way too much commercial, and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. Where is my eraser? There it is. Get that and that. Don't want those to be. And we don't want this and this and this. Yep, yeah, say goodbye. We don't want that so close to the road. Okay. And then the rest is gonna be pretty much residential. And we're almost ready to start populating our town. We just need to set up electricity and you know the other stuff <laughs> water <laughs> the other stuff not really that important D definitely don't need to drink it every three days or so to survive not at all all right we got one little sneaky industrial guy there don't like that all right there we go so we we're pretty much painted up i could do something here but uh i don't know i don't feel like doing it yet we'll see i might do something there you know what screw it Screw it, let's just do it. Just do it. Okay, we don't want to go cl too close to these roads, because that'll clog up stuff even more than it probably already will. And, uh, you know, we didn't want that. So, which way is this river flowing, huh? Downwards, obviously. I mean, that makes sense. Okay. We are going to grab ourselves one of these bad boys. And stick it right there. And we're going to get a water drainage pipe right here. Then we're going to hook this shit up. <laughs> Might as well start over here. So this is how water works if you've never played the game before. You just make a bunch of pipes and hope for the best. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It, it tells you what it covers, so it's pretty easy. Uh, back in the day, when I was a young child, I played a lot of SimCity. And this game is very similar, except less of a pain in the ass. But then again, I was also a child, so it may have seemed like more of a pain in the ass than it actually was. Come on. You can do it. Not enough money. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I've really stretched myself thin, haven't I? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, everyone. That's what loans are for. Can't get loans yet. Maybe I should unpause. It might help out a little bit. Might make some money. <laughs> But for now, I'm going to lose a lot of money. So, you know how I was talking about how like I've played this game before and I know what I'm doing? <laughs> well, about that, kind of, I'm a terrible player. Alright, so they don't have power or water, which is good, because you need power to power the... Th I want a loan, but I haven't unlocked loans yet. I forgot you don't start with loans. <laughs> That's okay, guys. Fallback plan. We're gonna go bankrupt, but it's fine. We're gonna get a loan from the bank, and then I should be able to supply these poor people 
with some things. I just need to hurry up and go bankrupt. Okay. Go away. So, sadly, they started in probably the most inconvenient place, but I guess that's kind of my fault for putting all the residential nice and far away. But hey, what are you gonna do? We even have some industrial going. They're like, ah, well, this town doesn't have power, but fuck it, let's keep building. I like their spirit, their, their generosity to my, my beautiful, terrible start to a town. But we're gonna make this work. We are going to make this work. I just need to go bankrupt real quick. Any time now, game, please. Don't. Okay. We're doing solid. <laughs> Who needs power and water? They can just die. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Mistakes were made! Mistakes were made. Well, I'll be back once I go bankrupt, because this might take a while. I expected it to go faster. Alright, guys, we're back. I have received my bankruptcy loan of 50000 which only brings me up to 39000 And, uh, obviously, we need to do something. Or we're going to be very sad. So this is one of the mods I have. It is a coal power plant. That just makes it look a little bit more fancy schmancy and look good and stuff. So we're going to drop that right there. That'll power them. And then we desperately need to connect these two bad boys. And then we need to grab this. And connect it over here. And that should be in there yet, yeah, isn't there? Okay, that should save us. Here's hoping. That should hopefully save us. As you can see, things are not looking good. A lot of the buildings that were around are gone. You know, and are we are we getting what we need? We have electricity. We have water, but this is not working for some reason. Why? Hang on, pause. Let's uh let's let's uh troubleshoot here. What's going on? Does it not have power? It should have power. I'm confused. There must be some something I'm missing. Stop it. Uh oh I know why. Derp. Derpy lerpy. There we go. <laughs> Alright, now we're good. And we should be okay. That should work any second. No. Are you? Why aren't you working? There we go, there we go. It just took 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 its sweet ass time. See you guys, I told you, everything's fine. Well, except for these guys. We'll get them sorted. Oh yeah, the place freaking This guy abandoned and totally screwed me over. Thanks. Okay. These guys should be getting power in a matter of seconds. We have a lack of workers. It's okay. I, I think we have hope. We, <laughs> we have hope. Why are they still not getting water? Because I never did water pipes because I ran out of money. That's right. <laughs> God. It's like I have to look like a, like a bad player. It's like in the rule books or something. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we're good now. Water? Everyone has water? Everyone's good. Look at all that sewage they're producing. Mmm, yummy. Yummy, yummy. But luckily we put it downstream, so technically we're getting pure water from up here, so... We should be good. And as you can see now, we are... we are... good. We are solid. I am still losing money like wildfire. But, uh, I think if we... if we speed up here, you'll see that I will start to gain citizens and... have money, and that's... that's a good thing. So, it doesn't look like I can build any type of buildings yet, because I'm still really small. That's my own fault. But it looks like we're coming around now. Uh, gonna need to finish the water supply. Just so anyone who's building is gonna be solid. There we go, that cost us a lot of money. How's our power? The power grid should hopefully expand normally, and as you can see, we have plenty of electricity if you look up here. We also have plenty of water, so we are... we are God, we are God. And I am paused again, damn it. There's really no need to pause that many times. So we're gonna try and make the city look really nice, and, uh, there's a variety of tactics, but a tactic that I saw on a stream that really I like is... generally involves planting a lot of trees. So, I might do that off-camera. So, these, uh, building plots, 
A lot of them are uh, different than they are in the base game because I've got a I got I got stuff going on. I lost my words. I got mods that kind of change what the global plots look like. So there's a little bit of variation, more than normal. And of course, this is a modded map, so this is different than anything you've seen, unless you've seen somebody play on this map, of course. You know, this river doesn't look clean to begin with, really. It looks like a dirty river already. There we go! We've reached a population of 440, and we have unlocked the elementary school medical clinic and landfill site. This is going to be pretty good for us. And as you can see, we are actually raking in a little bit of money because of that upgrade. So what we're going to want to do is prioritize medical clinic. Now I actually have a few things unlocked already that I probably shouldn't like the crematory, but I won't place them until I've actually unlocked it. But I do have the clinic that I can place, and we're gonna want this we're gonna want this like on the edge of town. That should get most people. I mean they should be alright over on the edge. It, it won't be perfect, but it'll be good enough. And we're gonna want a school immediately. And again we want this kind of on the edge of town. And that should probably do pretty good there. So we have 10,000 left. We have enough for a landfill site. We're definitely going to want one of these. Um, and we're going to put this in our industrial zone. And that should be solid. And now we have some garbage trucks. Yay for garbage trucks. Love garbage trucks. Okay. A miniature black hole created in the LHC. Interesting. Okay. So our city's coming along nicely. I do have a loan to pay back, though. And I actually can get... I can get the Silver Sunset Bank loan now. But I also have the uh, bankruptcy loan, which I don't really know where that is. But I'm sure that it's paying it back slowly over time. I'm actually losing money right now. I'm not entirely sure. Let's speed it up a bit here. And hopefully we regain that money. Why are we losing money? What are we spending money on? Let's check our budget here. So we have a lot of expenses. And we're making... About income of 2,253. What is so terribly expensive? Water is really expensive and roadage. I, I probably expanded too much. And then the healthcare is pretty expensive too. But mainly water. There's not much I can do about that. What I can do though raise taxes like a good like a good neighbor state farm is there hopefully <laughs> hopefully they don't get too mad I can always reduce it if they do alrighty we are good we are good to go and let's hope that, that helps we are making money now yay and they haven't complained about taxes yet so that's good but uh alrighty we are doing good we are doing solid. Look at this beautiful town. It's majestic. It's absolutely majestic. I'm getting a bit of stuttering. Not really sure why. I blame Fraps for all my problems. We're doing good. We have plenty of room to expand. Look at this area. Already turning a nasty color. I actually have a mod that changes the pollution from, like, purple to, like, brown. Looks a little bit better. That shouldn't expand down here. It might eventually, but that's that's a worry for another day, I do believe. Okay. Doing pretty solid. Now, I want to show you guys a mod that I have that is probably one of the cooler mods. If I can remember how it works. Yeah. Alright, so press tab and look at this. I'm in first person and I know there's a way to sprint. I gotta press that caps lock. So, as you can see, I'm, I'm on triple speed, so everything's moving three times as fast. Well, I can catch up to them. We actually, they're still faster than me. So it's it's kind of a great way to get like a like a, a view of what your city looks like. I'm I'm kind of set up to where I'm a little bit taller than normal humans, but it's just nice to walk around your city and be like, yeah, this looks great. Wow! Oh, look at Donut Van. Man, he just pulled up onto the curb. He's like, I don't care. Look at this fault tech. Interesting. So it's it's fun to oh, look at that. We are a worthy village now. We've unlocked uh, quite a few things, including districts, which is pretty cool. We have unlocked the fire department, the police department, and unique buildings, along with new industrial specializations and a few other things. 
So we are going to hop right into that. Um, if we can go here and be like, natural resources. As you can see, there's quite a lot of forest around here, obviously. So what I am going to do is grab this. And this will hurt our economy really, really bad. <laughs> oh, wait, I got to paint it first. There, it's been a while. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. So we're just gonna make this. I I don't have a name yet for this district. If you guys in the comments want to uh, name it, you can. Otherwise, I'll just come up with a name. And we're gonna make it a forest district. Now, this will cost us very dearly in the short term, but in the long term, we will make more money. Because they're gonna have to destroy all these buildings or replace them with agriculture buildings. And, I mean, not agriculture, uh, f forestry buildings. But in the long run, it'll be worth it, because... There is a lot. And we do have a fair amount of money here, so while we still have this money before all hell breaks loose, let's get ourselves a police station. And we'll just smack that right dab in the middle of town. And we'll get ourselves a fire station. Which uh, does not cover those areas. Why doesn't it... doesn't cover that area. You know what? Let's put it here. That should be okay. If we have problems, we can always fix it. We probably need another one up here, but I didn't have enough money. And I've survived with less, because there are a lot of fires that happen in forestry. I mean, that, that kind of makes sense. And we're doing pretty solid right now. The Moore District. Can't wait to rename the city as well, because right now it's just called Westwood. Ooh, exciting. So let's uh, bump it up to trivial speed here. We're looking good. Looking good. I mean, you can see, we're, we're spreading nicely. If we go to our district thing, there's still plenty of room. Yep, yep, look at all those buildings going down. I imagine our money is going to plummet. Actually, our money's going up, which is surprising. And as you can see here, uh, that's going to go away, yeah. There are different types of buildings for forestry, which I think is really cool that you can have different types I think it's just like a neat little addition, and uh, yeah, see, so you even have like little log piles instead of like all factories and stuff, and that's pretty neat, and I always think that's pretty cool, but we do have this ugly landfill, <laughs> we'll, get a we'll get rid of it eventually, hey look guys, it's like Burger King or some shit, it's a down and out burger, instead of an in and out burger, we don't have those where I live, but uh, I've heard of them, alright, let's uh, hop back up, so yeah, as uh, as we progress, once we have like really big cities, uh, it'll be really fun to walk around the city in first person. I actually had a city that was pretty big, and had quite a few, little <laughs> quite a few skyscrapers, and it was very fun to just walk around. Now we do have a lot of wasted space here. Um, right now, I don't really want to spend a ton of money, but you know what? Let's, uh, let's put it in one-way roads. It is going to piss off some of our local residents, but you know what? Screw them. They don't deserve me. So I want to put one-way roads so we don't have cars on the main roads trying to, like, sneak their way through. They might still do it, but screw it. Whatever. I'm not a road planner. I'm not going to pretend to be. And one right there. And let's get some residential up in her. So this gives us a little more space management. There are still some areas where it's a little off, but that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind too much at all. Alrighty. Let's grab that. And we're good. How are we doing on power? So as you can see, our electricity is actually going down a bit, but we should be okay. And water is perfectly fine. We, we're spending a lot of money on water, so we, uh, we'll be okay. We'll be just dandy. So if we come to my budget pal panel, we can see here that industrial is making me 714. I don't know how much it was making me before, but I have a feeling it's more. Um, and we're actually making quite a lot of profit, and they're not complaining about taxes, which is pretty damn nice. See, guys, I can do it. I just, I had to risk life and limb. Actually, you know why I'm probably making money is because I've paid off that loan, and now I'm making a lot more. So... We have a lot of unique buildings. We haven't unlocked most of them, but here they are. They're pretty cool. Um, but right now we don't really need them. 
pretty soon we will unlock, hopefully, the next tier. Yeah, we're really close. We're going to unlock level 2 unique buildings and decorations and a high school, which is pretty cool. High schools are really expensive, so I'm going to save my money for that because you're going to want to get education into these, these fine young people as soon as possible. So eventually we're just go we're going to expand all over the place. We're going to be everywhere. Now these cliffs are kind of annoying. I'm going to have like some cliff top freaking highways and it's going to be sweet, but it's also kind of annoying. Now, as you can see, all right, so we we reached the milestone. As you can see, it seems like the map's really small, but that's just because it won't let you scroll past when you only have a certain amount of squares. Once I have more squares, I will actually be able to uh see more of the map. The map's bigger than it looks, is what I'm trying to say. So we have unlocked the high school. Now we are going to place the modded high school. Again, this just uh, adds a few things, makes it look better. Just in general, it's a nice little addition. Now, can we get everyone here? We can. Alright, so that, that took away a lot of the commercial, but that's okay, because we already have enough as it is. As you can see, there's just a lot of blank spaces. And there you go, there's our high school. Really what the high school adds uh, in the mod is just some trees and, more importantly, some parking lots so that people aren't parking on the streets, which is pretty neat. And uh, let's see if we can find our elementary school. I can't remember where I placed it. Convenience store. Big Bites. What's <laughs> elementary school, where are you? I'm sure there's an easier way I could find it, but... Let's see, I know there is an easier way, let's just do this, and click on that, and then there you go. <laughs> there we go, see, the elementary school has parking spots too, in fact, let's go into first person. And you can see kids and dogs for some reason playing outside, and it's right next to a down and out burger with a floating donut van, so that's great. And uh, we are looking, we are looking solid here. And if we go over to my forestry place, you can see there are log forests, <laughs> log trucks, and all the great stuff. And we are looking real nice. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this first episode. Tune in next week, possibly sooner, who knows, for more City Skylines. Let me know how you uh, like the series so far. I know it's just the first episode, but I really would like to know your opinion. And feel free to name the town slash district. Bye bye